Tesla has a new and very big project for Giga Texas. Tesla is planning a big mega pack project at Gigafactory Texas to avoid unreliable electric grid. Welcome back friends. This is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. According to new local filings, Tesla is planning a big mega pack project at Gigafactory Texas in order to complement its planned giant solar system and to try and mitigate problems that come with Tesla's, uh, Texas's, uh, the state's unreliable electric grid. If you guys live in Texas, do you think it's rather unreliable when it comes to electric grid? I haven't heard much about that, but this is what the media is reporting, especially Electric is reporting that Tesla is planning to launch Gigafactory Texas with its Cyber Rodeo event next week. While production is just starting, the plant is still growing and more features are being added to it. Drone flyovers in recent weeks have re revealed that Tesla has started building a large solar array on the rooftop of the factory. The solar panels are expected to spell out Tesla from the sky. I've reported about this uh, uh, months ago. Now we learned that Tesla is looking to add energy storage to its renewable energy solution at Gigafactory Texas. According to a new filing with the city of Austin, Tesla is applying for a new project at Giga Texas called Giga Texas LCRA Permanent Switchyard and BESS. So BESS or BESS stands for Battery Energy Storage System. The application doesn't reverence any type of planned capacity, but it does cover a very large building area of 53 acres, which would be enough for a significant number of megapacks. The megapack project would enable Tesla to get to better use its upcoming rooftop solar panel system and provide some protection against Texas' notoriously unreliable grid, says Electric. The last few winters have been rough on the Texas grid and the state experienced several blockouts and uh, brownouts. Those issues have led many homeowners to turn to products like Tesla Powerwalls, and it only makes sense for Tesla to do the same for Gigafactory Texas, but on a large scale. Earlier this year, Tesla unveiled a giant megapack project in Texas for an electric utility. This new project at Gigafactory Texas could potentially be larger, says Electric, but we don't know until Tesla re releases all the details. So please subscribe to our channel if you would like to know more about this because we're going to keep our finger on the pulse of this development and bring you the latest. As you know, Torque News YouTube channel brings the latest from all Tesla Gigafactories. Now, there is no completion timeline for the solar rooftop or battery project. This is why I am unable to tell you more about any timeline. But this is a huge uh, uh, project for Gigafactory Texas to avoid unreliable electric grid. As we have previously reported, Tesla has been approved to be an energy distributor in the state of Texas. The move is part of the CEO Elon Musk's vision for Tesla energy to become a distributed global utility and endeavor that could even outgrow the company's automotive business because utility is a huge business. Business. What do you think, friends? Do you agree that uh, this may outgrow Tesla's automotive business? How many of you look at Tesla as an automotive company anymore, just only automotive company? Now, this has nothing to do with power outages and everything to do with time shifting the solar power to peak shaving, uh, says one commentator until under uh, Electric's coverage, saying selling power at peak demand commands five times to ten times more power prices, which quickly pays off the cost of renewable or it could be used to reduce the factory demand for expensive peak power, saving operating expenses for the factory. It can also be used to stabilize the grid and avoid power outages in the first place, which also makes money for Tesla. Just a smart thing to do when you have a bunch of renewable power generation nearby. I think this, I agree with that. This has everything to do with power outages. The factory needs reliable supply and also 
this is beneficial for Tesla to do good business, sell more energy and have reliable supply for itself. So what are your thoughts, friends? Are you excited about this? Uh, Tesla's new move, Tesla's new big mega pack project. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Have a blessed evening. God bless you, everyone. And I'll see you soon in our next Tesla report. Big things are happening at Tesla Giga Berlin. More Tesla products are coming in the pipeline at Giga Berlin. And the first suppliers are already there at Giga Berlin. In this report, I'm going to tell you what happens after the Tesla opening at Giga Berlin in and around Grünheide, where Tesla's factory is located. Also, tomorrow I'm expecting a report, which I will report on Monday, of what's happening at Giga Berlin on the ground, as our friends will have new drone videos, and we will see whether Giga Berlin is shipping from... Um, uh, to, uh, to its new owners. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here the first time, please subscribe to this channel for daily breaking Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. After Tesla handed over the first cars from its Grünheide factory to customers this Tuesday, the company now wants to expand its plant further. There is still a long way to go before mass production. If you remember, the 30 Model Y electric vehicles delivered on Tuesday had more symbolic value. In order to be able to attack the European electric car market properly, Tesla must start mass production at its Grünheide plant as quickly as possible at Giga Berlin. As early as October last year, Elon Musk described this as a real challenge. He said starting production isn't that important. Mass production is the hard part. It's an awful lot of work and we need a lot of talented, hardworking people to pull it off. It's super difficult. It, I can't stress that enough. He explained um, then uh, back in October. In fact, we don't, we're not surprised because we see that Tesla, like I reported earlier, which you're about to see probably today, is that Tesla released a video inviting more people to work for Tesla Giga Berlin. So Tesla will have to keep hiring diligently. A good 3,000 plus people uh, currently work in Grünheide. However, Tesla needs at least 10,000 employees for mass production. Tesla also wants to set up a second production line this year in 2022. Then hundreds of thousands of Teslas could roll off the assembly line in the coming year. But not only cars are to be built in East Brandenburg. Tesla is also building a battery factory that is scheduled to start later this year. And Elon Musk gave a hint on Tuesday about other products that could possibly also be made in Grünheide. What are those? We will also be making storage devices. This will be very important to enable storage of renewable energy, Elon said. He also said, we're extremely confident that the world can transition to a sustainable energy future with a combination of solar, wind storage, and electric cars that take billionaire of Tesla underscored last Tuesday. And more Tesla products are coming in the pipeline. This means that mega batteries may soon also be available as power storage devices for the home made in Grünheide, made at Giga Berlin. Tesla has also announced plans to add battery recycling factories to all of its locations. And that's not all. After all, Tesla also wants to produce other parts in Grünheide, such as bumpers, which are currently being delivered. But not only Tesla still has some challenges ahead. The region is also in demand, says Martin Kornick from the German Institute for Economic Research, RBB, uh, Brandenburg's public radio reports. For the region, the work is only just beginning because not only is a car to be produced that comes off the assembly line there at Grünheide, but the region also wants to establish itself technologically as an electromobility center in Europe. Keep in mind, electric, uh, actually car production in Europe uh, is mainly focused in Bavaria, in southern Germany. Tesla Giga Berlin is changing the lo uh, location, changing the geography to Berlin area in uh, rather north of Bavaria. And now they want to be the technological center of electromobility in Europe. And first suppliers are already there. Above all, this requires suppliers, right? Some are already there. For example, BASF in Schweiz. 
Schwarz and White or Rock Tech Lithium in Guben. In order for more to come, more suppliers to come for Tesla and Giga Berlin or for electromobility production near Berlin, Brandenburg must quickly provide more commercial land and sufficient water. Get that water issue fixed. Bring more pipeline, friends. If you want more co companies, come and not worry about um, uh, water and uh, uh, environmentalists complaining. But the first steps have already been taken on Brandenburg's path to become an electromobility location. So what do you think, friends? Let me know your thoughts. This is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily, daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. And let's move on to see what is coming from Tesla.